everybody. Hi. Thank you all for being here this evening for tonight's first public presentation of Daybreak. Somewhat inspired by something that I saw on Oprah. <laughs> I think my generation knows that Oprah was the god of the time, and that's where we got most of our information about the world. Um, but also, Daybreak is a very personal piece to me. It's a, it's a piece that gets very, very dark, continues to be very, very dark. There's a lot of biting humor in the show, and I just challenge you to go on the dark journey, go on the comedic ride if you can, find the joy in the darkness. Tomorrow is a night This is Mike Kavanaugh with GayLifeNYC.org and HIVHero.org, and I'm here with Mr. Cronin, the writer of Daybreak. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? What a handsome young man you are. Thank you very much. So tell us about this show. How did it come about? Um, it started, actually, I read an article in a newspaper about a couple in India who had met when they were both going to jump off a bridge, and then they ended up getting married. And there was something about that story that I just really clicked with, and I kept it in a folder for a couple of years, and as I started writing this piece, I decided that would be a great framework for the story that we're telling. And the story is really about a couple, a contemporary couple, man and woman, uh, African American man, white woman, and he lives on the down low. I see. Mm -hmm. and you know, you have to do what you can to be happy, and sometimes you don't know what makes you happy until later and exactly. you know one of the things is you know teen suicide is up there's all kinds of people doing the wrong kind of things so this sends a really good message it I think. It sure does yeah it's about hope and and forgiveness and trust and belief yeah. Great. And you're doing this as a benefit tonight for the LGBT community which is amazing the center they're one of our partners we love them you can get all their information on our website why is this so important to you this organization? It's important because they do things for the community that when I was younger, I didn't know that I had a place like this that I could come to if I was feeling lost or I needed information or learning about sex in general, just anything. Um, I didn't know where I could go. And then once I moved here years ago, um, I learned that there was indeed a community of people that could help. And that's important to give back to the community. And we're a site, again, for newly diagnosed people living with HIV. Do you have any message out there about being safe and protected? Always be safe. Always. Always be honest um, with your partners. And, you know, just as I was taught in first grade, do unto others as you would have done unto yourself. That's right. We say condoms are hot. Don't you think condoms are hot? I think they're very hot. Okay, so be safe out there. We know we repeat that a lot, but we can't say it enough. Thank you so much. Really looking forward to it. And is this going to go play somewhere else soon? Um, it's opening in London in March of 2012. That is amazing. So if you happen to be crossing the pond, <laughs> have a pint of beer and go see this musical. It's going to be amazing. And thank you so much for having me here. Thank you very much. <laughs> Beautiful Jay Lane. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you very much. You look absolutely ravishing. Oh, thank you. In the rain. Oh my God. I, don't, I can't survive in the rain, but you are in Priscilla right now, correct? Yes, definitely, yes. One of my friends, Nick Adams, starring in that? Oh, really? Nick Adams? Nobody knows Nick Adams. Yes. Only like a thousand people. Yeah, Nick Adams is wonderful in the show. We had actually worked in a chorus line together oh, previously. Yeah. 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 It's too bad that he's not very good looking, right? No, it's so sad that they hire these people, but it's nice that they hire untalented people who with no body structure whatsoever yes. and who can't sing or dance. We're only kidding. We love you, Nick Adams. Shout out to you. So tell me, what's the most fun about doing Priscilla every night? Um, it's the audience reaction. A lot of times they don't, they've never um, seen a show that would take them on this journey in which people are like loving the songs because people know the songs. You know, they're very, I will survive, they're singing along, and then... 
they get hit with this story about a man who's trying to connect to his young child who he has never met before. So what's fun about that is watching the audience reaction, just cry, but then jump in their seats and just dance. Yeah, it's, it's such a wonderful message besides, besides being such a great show, and I love the costumes. How do those people change you guys, change all the makeup so quickly? Oh, well, it's magic. <laughs> it's little elves, little, little fitting elves and makeup elves. Fitting elves. Yeah, we try to hire everybody, you know, so there's a lot of work involved. Yes. You know, the funnest thing about this show is uh, I, was, I saw it last week, and I was, I was in the fifth row, and there was these people from out of town, and they were screaming ABBA songs before, and I thought, oh, my God, I'm going to hate this. They're, they're going to ruin it for me. Yeah. They made it a blast, I have to tell you. Yeah, it's funny. When people come backstage, they said, oh, it was me who was screaming in the audience. And I was like, lady, you ain't the only one, which is awesome because people have that. They just have this compelling moment to just, yeah just yes. to sing along. Exactly. I would, have, yeah. I, I would have stood up, but I can't dance very well. But um. No, but what's awesome is that people at the very end start getting up and dance, and they're dancing on the wrong beat, but they're just clapping. And that's what's awesome is that we, they think we can't see them, but we just love the fact that they're just dancing their own way, doing their own movements, yes. and they think nobody can see them. And they're literally doing what people say, dance like nobody can, nobody's watching. Right, and right. that's what people are doing is because they're looking at us thinking, oh, they can't see me. I'm like, it's not a TV screen. We can see you, but we love the energy yeah. coming back at us. That's like me. I sing in the shower, I dance in the shower, and I'm the only one that sees me naked in the shower. So it's very unfortunate. All right, so tell us a little secret about you. What does no one know about you? Or a few people know. Um, well, I, I am Canadian. I have all my paperwork, so right. just just hold on. But um, uh, secret? Uh, what do you do to relax, just for fun? When you kick off your heels, what do you do? Um, well, I, uh, I love me some... Grapes, I guess that would be wine. It's it's very nice to have ladies' night with my ladies. As I always say I love any wine that is not my own. Right, right. <laughs> exactly. Or, or really good-looking muscle men feeding me grapes would be nice, too, right? Right, yeah, that's my other hobby. That's okay, my other good. hobby. Well, I'm sure you got that plenty because you're gorgeous, so come on in here a little. So, so tell me, what is it you haven't done that you'd like to do? Any roles or anything? TV, um, movies, what? Uh, just give me a sitcom. Just a sitcom would be awesome. I think she has amazing comedic timing. I, I, timing, and I think we're looking at the next uh, comedic actress. So please hire her. Casting agents, look at this video. It'll be on YouTube and on GayLifeNYC.org. And we're a site for newly diagnosed people living with HIV. Do you have any message out there about being safe, being protected, and being positive once you get the disease and staying, you know, happy? Happy is the biggest thing that I found. That being able to just live every moment. Breathing in that very moment is all you have, is that moment. So don't think of the future, don't think of the past. What is going on at that very moment, that's all you have. And that's all anyone has, whether or not they have a disease or not. They have that moment. So I always think that live in the moment, breathe, and there you. that's what you have. That's all you really have. I agree. Our, our slogan is condoms are hot. Do you think condoms are hot? Oh, they are hot. Condoms are, condoms are hot. Now listen... No matter your status, please go get tested. Protect your partner. Protect yourself. Thank you so much to this beautiful, beautiful girl. Go see her in Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. It is an amazing show. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you.